All right, part one, work on freight train, work on freight train cars. Um, section eight, general survey of the work. Um, for the people outside the rail circle, um, circles are aware that there are a quarter of a million men engaged in building and repairing the railway cars. Few are still aware of the wide variety of the wo work involved with the maintenance of the equipment and skill, knowledge, and qualifications necessary to perform the railway car. This is the most complex type of the structure than the house. There, this is because of the most serve the greater the drum of the purpose for the under greater variety of the conditions that due to the house. The house is built only from upright and movability stability, but if the railway car is built for the movement with the while carrying heavy loads of the many different with the characteristic weight, they must withstand the stress and strain. Shed oxygen received the switch and the round when the stops and sta started in long, heavy trains. The rigorous of the service makes it the use of bolts and iron rods and other metal with the reinforcement necessary in the car construction. In addition to have the common methods of joinery used for the housing building. The car runs on flange wheels and it is held with the rails below the wheel, running on the lateral press with the wheel flange against with the rails of the truck. The stack structure is designed to hold the wheels in position under the car that's equally, equally, equally distributed with the car weights and the wheels provided with the springs between the body of the car and the wheels lessen the shock when the car is in motion. Every car has two trucks. The weight of the car result rests directly upon the center beam of the truck and called with the truck bolster upon the truck bolster as the center of the center circular plate called with the truck plate um, truck center plate. This is the corresponding plate of the body of the car which fits the trucks and the center plate together with they are acted on with the switch wheel which allows independent movement of the truck when the car is going around curve at the top of the center plates are fixed to heavy transverse beams one or near each of the end of the car. These beams are called with the board body bolster form of the foundation of the car body. The superstructure of the car is a built uh, upon heavy longitudinal timbers which are rest upon the two body bolsters the ends of the uh, the ends of the longitudinal timbers and sim um, sills are intended to into true transverse end sills the posts of the cars are fitted into the side end sills the top of the posts are fitted to the uh, to the side of the and end plates which are the top of the car with the same relation relative to the position at the side of the end sills at the at the bottom lighter Transversal longitudinal timbers are called the car liners and per liners, respectively, are joined to the plates and from the framework of the roof. The superstructure of the car is described and similar to the house of the structure, except with the joint differently. On the house, the longitudinal slides, the hills are laid with the um, jank gained in the ends of the sills, but the sills are of the car are joined together with the tenons and mortises, um, which are trunk over the joint and safe the spaces. Unlike a house, the sills cannot um, the sills of the car cannot be supported by the house. The distance between um, the supported by the distance of um, supported by post cannot be supported by post. The distance between the body of the bolster, which for the rest upon the greater under load of the sill would sag, well, where where they would not be supported by the transverse timbers on each side of the car. Center of the timbers are uh, earned supported by the heavily tightened lead of the draw rods extending for the length of the car. The rods rest upon the body of the bolster and fasten the end sill. The trusses strain due to the movement of the car and the shift of the load carrying the wood would soon burst out of the wall of the car where or they not hold together more securely than the walls of the house, particularly every joint of the frame of the car's superstructure is reinforced with iron rods. The great structure which the rail car is subjected with is dissipated through the mechanical me mechanism which is the car is drawn but only many of the cars, especially in passenger service buffer appropriate apparatuses assist. The general characteristic of the railway car and page of the following difference of the structure of the car that describe no other vehicle can um, structure with the ill greater than the number of the requirements of the majority of two thousand million majority of the two point six million cars in the United States the freight service to work necessary with the maintenance and reform and by the carman. The carman repairs the maintenance of when required with the construction of the car's equipment with the care of the freight train, the repairs maintained with the good condition of all the work equipment, use of the railroad and maintenance for the rate right of way and the construction of the bridges, etc. Most of the work is concerned with the the cars that carry the freight. There are divided in three general classes house car, gondola car, and flat car. The house car division are all box cars, grain cars, stock cars, refrigerator, and fruit cars. The gondola cars include the sanding cars, cinder um, cars, ballast cars, various types of the hoppers cars. Some of these doors have the, allow the escapement of the cargo through the floor of the cargo, while the others have the doors that open, from the, uh, open to the side and allow the cargo to escape by or be ejected while through the side. These cars are made in three general types the wooden composite part wood and part steel and all steel cars. All right, varieties of repairs. The variety of the repairs that one, any one class of the cars and so which the two, there that no two cars are repaired exactly alike unless they are completely re, um, rebuilt. Therefore, it may be seen with the carman must having the ingenuity of the cope with a different set of problems regarding his work on each car that has to repair. With the variety of the repairs is more more the variety of the cars upon which the, he works. Some of these cars are listed there. Peculiarly, peculiar, peculiar, peculiarities and explained below. 
Our figure one shows the box car received the, um, for repairs. All right, the varieties of wood freight cars are box, cinder, express for refrigerator, flat, refrigerator sand, wood, citrus, circus, coal, blunt bunk, coal, supply, poultry, tank, stock, pickle, drop bum, gondolas, fruit, national, national dump, automobile, automotive, um, heart convertible, furniture, caboose, and horse. Work, work equipment, snow plows, steam shovels, wedge plows, derrick cars, sweepers, wed, weed burners. Sand plows, test weight cars, blouse spreaders, ledger wood cars, and um, pull pile drivers. All steel cars, tank, 70 ton high side, t t um, hopper, so, um, so, solid bottom gondola box, drop bottom gondola, automobile, automobile, Hopper bottom and furniture um, composite cars. Our steel, uh, steel underframe box coal hopper car art convertible sand national dump flat cinder bowl tree stock horse fruit automobile and furniture and caboose steel frame box coal stock car horse fruitable fruit automobile and furniture sand. Our favorite gear two shows the repairing of a steel underframe of the gondola car. All right, peculiar work involved with repairing, re, um, repairing various type of the car. See different varieties of the car has its own peculiar feature. The um, freight car men have to know what the peculiar feature of the, each of the car, the shape, the size, the different parts, how they should be put together and taken apart, both in regard to the matter of the structural requirement, safety of themselves, and the men working with them. Also, it can be also easily um, required with a great deal of the knowledge of the skill. Refrigerator car. There are cars different with the ordinary box in several ways. One of the most important is the fact that the refrigerator cars has many layers of the floor, walls, maybe up the wood and paper. And insulation between some of these layers of these are also air and, and airspace. The course will prevent conduction of the heat and keep the contents of the coal car cool. The um, side of the car are built into the layers and filed with the sheeting of the paper, the felt paper, and three eighths of an inch sublining post of the braces inside sublining paper, felt, and paper. Lining stripe of the paper lining making all five to six inch wall of the floor is about nine inches thick and case of the floor with however the most of the insulation goes between the sill. This is involved with the cutting of the felt and the paper and all the other kinds of the insulation in to seven sections of shapes and sizes with will different will fit between the different cells. There are four different widths of the insulation strips that have to be cut this way. All right, in the roof of the car, the layers um, from the inside of the car up there is foul ceiling paper strip, three eighths of an inch wood insulation paper, felt paper, three eighths of an inch wood insulation paper, outside car lines, per lines, ridge pole bar, board roof, tool, tar plastic paper, metal board on top of the roof, making thickness in all of the about nine to inches of the center lay, center and tapering down to about five inches on the side. Special care must be taken to see that all of the car's insulation fit together tightly and accurate. Otherwise, there would be leakage for the cold air, loose of the loss of ice and spoiling of the car. Cargo. There, air, there are additional differences between the ordinary box cars and refrigerator cars. One of the columns in the roof of the construction of the roof of the built with the hatch boxes, which are over the opening of the ice boxes at the end of the car. There are four conveniency conveniences of pulling, putting the ice in the ice box. The opening of the car with heavily insulated with a hatch plug with a hatch cover that has a fixture attached with the making the possible to open the angle with the desired ventilation. Your ice box. The car man required to build the ice box at the both ends of these cars. In some of these cars, the ice box mechanism is quite complicated. Is to enter the entire front of the ice box and be raised and passed from the position and into the ceiling of the car, thus making the bunker where the ice is kept available for space and storing the cargo where the ice is not used. Um, figure three shows the refrigerator car roof showing showing the hatch covers. Um, your doors. The side doors of refrigerator cars differ from the ordinary um, box car side uh, side doors in so much that they have two door opening on each side of the swing of the hinges instead of the sliding. They are about si six inches thick and heavy insulated, but the edges were padded to prevent admittance of the air uh, to the car where the doors are closed. Some of the padding of the could be uh, called upholstery. The small coil springs are passed from the edge of the door in order to keep the padding of the resilient. But the door fixtures also much different from those of the ordinary box cars that must be applied with the proper leaf that they will not hold the doors and close tightly. Other cars. Furniture cars are generally 50 feet long with about with the 14 feet high, but the car size is sprung out with a square. Thus, stress from the service comes down to the shop from the repairs with the body, body badly out of shape. The car man must be familiar with the method of straightening the body of this car. After the car body has been straightened, some of the rods are then applied with the roof of the braces, six numbers, one of which with the runs through the, each of the corner of the car diagonally cross into the side plate about five feet from the car um, from the inside of the door post. But there are two other diagonal Braces running from the, uh, the point from the severe suspension diagram meets with the side plate with the opposite side plate with the opposite side of the door. The fitting of the braces required for the good deal of the car. The importance because of the care must be of the train which tends to throw out of the car out of shape. 
Our right, figure four shows the furniture car received with repairs. Um, in so much of the distance from the floor of the ceiling of the car is about ten feet, but the car man must be build a scaffold inside of the car, reaching overhead to perform the work. And the express refrigerator cars, refrigerator cars used with the passenger train. So the freight car must be familiar with the passenger car type of the coupling and uncoupling arrangements, also known as the method of repairing the buffer attachment that mo these cars have. The buffering system consists of the two cylinder, which are the cast integral with the bowl body buffering casting over the car, in which the two larger double coil springs over the fitted with the steel buffer plate on the wooden gondola car the car man um, must know that the method of renewing one or more of the side planks without the removing of all of them how to jack up the side planks and stakes in order to renew the side sill the riding of the wood with the core riding of the steel depends on the part par partly of the character of the cargo sand coal for instance each of the holes with the moisture intends with the ride with the color um corrode with the car with the rather quickly this is not especially true with the effect of the car coal on steel because there's no not only the moisture in the coal but the also of the sulfur, which is the very the rapid corrosive effect of the metal, the floor of the steel car carrying coal will not lo lo will not last more than one half of the time. But the floor of the wooden car floor will last. In addition to the ordinary bending of the racking of the cars while the road with the gondola cars are usually loaded with unloaded clamshells shoveled in these frequently man bang, bang against the bottom of the side of the door, dent the cars and other uh, and or dent the car. Or if it is wooden cars, break it. The repair of the poultry car, the carman must be able to apply with the wire mitting. Also, numerous floors and compartments of, together with the racks of the, for the tr troughs that w which hold water and grain which prop poultry is fed with the transit. The repeating of the and repairing stock cars, they had the most knowledge of the application of the hay racks and the side rails and to prevent the, the cattle from breaking door, doors and pushing them out of the slots. In repair to the drop bottom gondola cars and national dump cars has been, um, he, um, he must um, be able to um, repair the good door closing and locking mechanism, which one of the small, um, some cars and very complicated with the repairing of the heart. Convertible and sand cars have the understanding of the side door and operating mechanism in general consists of the bar half of the full length of the car with the offset, offset each of the door with the so that they will return to the rear ratchet lever at the end of the car with these off the so that they're brought against the casting on each side of the door. The door is equipped with a heavy paw of the lock with this operating bar and placed against for the bar extend for the length of the car on the outside of oh, about yeah, the height of the top of the, the side so the off the offset of the bend of the bar opposite of the each side of the car each side of the door can be made with the um, press against the door, and is, which hinges at the top of the closing, so that this cargo cannot escape. In order to lock this in place, and bar in place against the door in the pole, which is the flat casting, somewhat pier-shaped, hung on the pivot through the top, is turned with the door, wedging the clock, locking bar into the position. Is the O to open the door for the pole? Um, pole even uh, each of the door, which will be turned pat, um, back of the pivot, allowing the bar to be turned with the lever at the end of the car, which withdraws the pressure for the bar, offsets the from each of the door. At times, the circus um, circus cars some of the um, come to the shop with the repairs. The carmen should be able to repair the cage of the animal with the ventilator, with the uh, other special parts of the car, and serve with the repairing of the bunker cars. Manufacture of the bunk and lockers also apply with the metal and with, with sand, wash stands and water coolers that go in the, these cars. When um, when a supply car is repaired with the car, manufacture the various side bins and drawers that are needed in a car in the uh, serve with the distributing the necessary to carry on the locomotive and track repairs. The small points with the uh, railroad system and the repair of the tanker cars has applied with a head block in which the tank rests with the properly applied with the straps around the tank so that it will break it will not break loose and roll off the car. A pickle car usually in the flat car I have with a vats built upon it holding pickles that work with the re requires the carman to have the skill necessary to construct a watertight wood wooden vat. In the repair of the fruit car he understands the repairing of the side screen doors also application repair with the numerous painted ventilators with which these cars are equipped with some of the ventilators are quite complicated mostly properly applied but we will not be Good working order. In the pair of automobile car, he would be able to um, build and apply with the end of the cars with the under the runways, the loading of the un unloaded automobiles in a sustaining manner so that it would, despite the abuse of the subjection and loading and unloading of the cars, they will be in condition to be closed with the tightly. In repair of the house cars, he must be able to manufacture, stall, portions, drink troughs, and hay and out racks. Figure 5 shows a sing uh, single track snow plow. In the repair of snow plows, you must have a significant mechanical skill with the tools of the ability, ab the, the tools that apply with the covered sheeting, which is common of the cars most apply with the tightly behind the against the metal cutting edge of the plow. We now know that the jo job of the building requires the skill, um, skill equivalent of the application of the sheeting of the repair of the snow plows, like equipment of the carman should be able to manufacture and apply with the doors and the window sash, with the, which apart with the equipment and hanging of the doors, for they must apply with the hinges and the handles, knobs, and the locks. 
When snow sweepers need to prepare, they may, he must be able to remove the imply with the brushes, repair the parts with the mechanism for the operating with the car that's required for the repair of the rotary snow plows. He must be able to repair the ballast spreaders, which have the lar large sp um, spreading plank with the either side of the car fastened to either the car heavy, heavy hinges of the casting supported with the end of the plank of the top of the car and the heavy rod right about one and one and a half of the inch of the diameter of the ballast spreader for the R use to spread it to car load ballast and they have been dumped on the track for the purpose of filling on the construction work. The carman must repair, repair pile drivers, um, all of the wooden booms and slide blocks of the, ham of the hammers must be repaired and constructed by um, him. The blooms are sometimes between 50 and 60 feet length and are timbered approximately 14 to 14 inches heavier. They must repair the booms and lifting mechanisms of the steam shovel and clam shells. Also construct cabins around the steam engine and boilers over this type of the work equipment. Our right, figure six shows the repairing of the pile driver. In the building of repair of the derelict cars and use the construction work with the car man is able to do the casting the boom with the cable and cables, blocks and tackle other parts of the derelict car with the exception of the steam boiler and steam engine for the car op, um, carmen understand all of the stress and the trains involved with the operating with these type of the cars in order to be able to detect the weakness and the blocks and tackle any other parts of the dead rick with the dead rick where, where very construction the being the five or more types of the dead wrecks that each of these cars men must be familiar with the car must be able the carmen must be able to repair a car that they used as a weed burner that they require equipped with the fuel oil projectors that are held with the rear of the car with the framework and cover the space for the nine feet square of the on the right of the way these burners are light, light and the flow of fuel oil is continued force through the compressed air which comes from an air pump operated with the power transmitted by the gears and in some cases the bells from the axle with the moving of the cars. One of the most complicated cars is the test weight car which is the car, car used to test the accuracy of all the scales on the railroad system. The car is made up of the numerous number of the part, parts which must be fitted together applied with the greater accuracy of the adrenal bearing and the rolling bearings on the axle car are adjusted so finely that the car can be moved in unaided efforts for the scale tester. The cars are Weighing 40 to 45, uh, 40 to 50 tons. Carman built and repairs cabooses sometimes as part of the construction, similar to parts for the passenger train car. The most prominent characteristic is the, is the cupola. This is built above the roof line. The cupola is made with the window in order to, that a member of the train crew sitting inside can see the entire length of the train. Are right, different found in cars of the same type. The above the list of the given ID with the variety of the type of the cars the carman constructs the repair outfit and an outline of the type of the cars alone does not adequately picture the variety of the work performed on the freight main car. We must consider the difference of dimension of the cars in some type of the classification. For instance, there are 33 foot, 36 foot, 40 foot box cars and load like a difference in length we will found in any other type of the, um, cars. Not only with the cars of one type of the subdivided, but they according to the length of the height, the heights and the width also differ. But aside dimensional differences with the group of the car of the gen one general type of the, of the differences in applying for the thousand of the car the same type of the numbered serial may be equipped with four different types of cu couplers. 500 cars may be having the friction draft gear with the 500 and a half transom draft gear. The seven, um, so the same thousand cars may have the three types of the trucks and then three types of roofs. Figure 7 is a Caldwin Cal Cardwell dra friction draft gear. Standard equipment mis misnomer, the way, uh, which may be used to describe the freight equipment because of the carman is repairing the fines if the standard of almost not two alike requires a great deal of the study experience to select the proper parts of material for the repair of the main and the difference of the car on any one road. Each of these must add, um, add largely percent of the foreign cars rapidly, nearly all without aid or blueprints. Each foreign car can be considered to be as an added variety of any parts of repair points that they form 50% of the number of the cars repaired. Figure 8 shows the Pennsylvania car rebuilding the Northwestern Railroad car man without aid of the blueprints. Um, tools, the, perf the performance of the work to be done with the car the requires the use of the number of the tools which are listed here within. One, the breast drill. Two, the brace. And one small, one large. Um, one seat, um, set of shipment auger bolts. Five sixteenths, seven sixteenths, nine sixteenths, eleven sixteenths, thirteen sixteenths, fifteen sixteenths, one and one sixteenths, and one and three sixteenths. Expansion bit, one countersink, one claw hammer, two mechanic, machinist hammer, two pounds, one small hatchet, one ca carpenter's adds, one socket, um, um, socket set of brake, 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 brace, of, um, wrenches, three eighths of an inch, one half inch, five eighths of an three quarters of an inch, one inch, a monkey wrench, one 14 inch Stilson wrench, one jack plane, one smooth plane, one saw number, um, eight, and one rip saw number six, and one panel saw, one, one keyhole saw, one hacksaw, one set saw, one saw set saw, 
saw files clamps to hold the saw while filing. One set of framing chisel, three eighths of an inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch, one inch, one and a half, two inches. Um, got got two gouges, one and a half inch, one and one inch. Um, one two, one claw bar, two screwdrivers, two three screwdriver bits, three eighths of an inch, one and a half inch, five eighths of an inch. One large pliers, one tenor split shears, one large square, one tri square, two rules, two inch, two foot and six foot. One oil stone, one oil can, one lead pencil, one chalk line, one two center punches, one three nailing nail sets, one carbon carpenter's apron, one tool, tool box. Almost every man has two tool boxes, one nail box from uh, eight to ten sizes of the nails, um, one saw horse, and one miter box, seven with the S wrenches of three eighths of an inch and two to two eighths two inches, about three and a quarter inches. Lumber um, supplied by the company. One pincher bar. Um, one two co two cold chisels, heavy hammers supplied by the company. Coupler, wheel, axle, gauge, chipler, chisel, salt bars. Two ladders, one large work outside of the car, one small inside of the work. Air drill machine. These are movable and air carried around about 50 feet of the air hose is attached. All tools and machinery for the freight car men use them are movable. Seven jacks, four the lever jacks, same size, one small jack applying bra brasses, two screws jackets to raise the load car if the car is finding the necessary to use the two large hydraulic jacks. All right, when the repairs to be made and necessary of the jacking up of the car, man finds it necessary to use the four to eight horses of the trestle according to the weight of the car. Operating the air drill. Um, the car man must know how to con um, con connect the air drill to set it up, adjust it, and oil clean it, and keep it in good condition. He must understand the method of using the uh, with an angle of the boring attachment, the extension of the universal joint in order to bore the holes in confined places. Do, do not admit the air machine itself. The boring spa space splice lab bolt holes on the cars equipped with the Williams and Piers. A draft gear, the air motor, of this, which is the angle of the boring attachment, even with the uh, attachment, is impossible to bore the holes without using two lengths of the drill bit on account of having seven and a half inches in space between the center sills and the same between the center and intermediate sills. It is very dangerous when boring these holes with the bore motor and atta angle attachment to have the ex inexperienced man handling the motor for if they're boring through six inches of sill nails and are struck through the bit and does not clear the clear as it should, the motor is liable to slip and have from the grasp of the auger and make it strike him in its catch and his clothing thereby causing possible injury and using the motor to bore these holes the carman has um, so little room in which the war work with the borings are blown into his face by the exhaust you're responsible when he takes the machine out for the re re um, return of the good condition. This is true with all the equipment, the machines that expel plants for the tools for the owner, which the company furnishes the naturally responsible for his own tones of connecting up the, any of these tools, the appliances that worked on with the compressed air. He has connected them in a way such that none of the air the air pressure will, will be wasted. He has he has to make a tight connection because of the if it were any leaks of the effects effects of the air pressure of the um on the line throughout the shop, which would be resulting in there and I'm being sufficient air work to the similar appliances in other parts of the shop. Frequency of use of the tools and appliances. Horse trestles are used constantly. Ladders next to the frequency, and then is um and this and his own hand tools, especially with the hammers, wrenches, wood chisels, rules, braces, bits, pencils, saws, planes, and squares. Nearly all of his own tools he uses regularly every day. The tools which we use he uses um only or occasionally are air tool expansion bolts, uh, expansion bits and punches and nail sets. Weight of the machine and appliances. The weight of the machines and tools and some of the files. The heaviest man of them and there is the air drill. It weighs about 75 pounds. One may carry it. A can carry it. One man can usually carry a large horse with a trestle, but in some shape shops they are made extremely large and are reinforced with iron, requiring the efforts of the two men to move it into the position. It requires the two to four men to carry the hydraulic jacks. Usually a one man operates the, each of the jacks, but it's good practice to always use two men on a jack, especially on heavy cars. Tools, expenses. The carman must, from time to time, replace any of his tools with the, that become lost with work out, work and worn out or broken. The average cost of the keeping the possession of the tools that he requires in his work would be about forty-five dollars a year. In the present time, the full um, full twenty-five dollars of the expense incurred with the keeping of the supply of the wood bits chisels, um, because they are broken frequently. The original cost of the present day, of the January twenty-first, um, January nineteen twenty-one, of the complete set of tools such as the carman expected with the own the one hundred and thirty-five dollars, the eleven door. Eleven dollars of this original cost of the bids, in which he acquires this estimates of the very conservative one of the present market market prices practices. 
The foregone estimate was made up of the detailed items, and so much of the car has supplied with his own tools. If he loses, breaks his tool while at work, he has to go get the tools, these tool, um, tools from the store at its own time, thereby losing some of the time from his work being docked from his pay, paying accordingly. All right, concept of material handled. The following woods are used for the freight car repairs. Oak, fir, citrus, pulp, poplar, pine, maple, occasionally, and ash. The different kind of woods are mentioned about the very in respect for the hardness and closeness of the grain frequency of the nasty quantity of the resins. Um, liability of the split weight and tension strength and compression of the strength and hardness. All of these different qualities require the special care of the use of the tools in order that they work and then should be done properly and tools kept in the, from the damage of breaking, breakage. Therefore, the carman has to know the different qualities of each of these kind of the wood, how they act and when they are using the different edge of the tools such as saws and chisels, etc. Sample in inter, 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 instance of where that is in some locality somewhat is in the winter. Months oak and end sills are received for the application for the car while the frozen in the condition and necessity of the grade of the car with the carbon and use of the bits gener generally is necessary for the, him to thaw out a hole and with a red hot bowl and he bores it. it, bores it. In addition to those different types of kinds of wood, the car man is constantly using. He also uses the following kinds of metal, which, sorry, material which will go into the work: nails, lag screws, cutter keys, tacks, ordinary wood screws, um, wrought iron bolts, nuts and rods, wrought and iron straps, and malleable iron, steel, and gray iron casting. Your car parts. The car man prepares all the car parts with assembly them in orderly wooden wooden 50 foot cut um, flat foot and 50 foot box cars that approximately. 100, 1,100 wooden pieces. Nearly all the parts are hard, are handled with it, with, and cars undergo heavily and rebuilt but repairs. These various the variety of 30 different shapes. And I'll list some of the varieties. Various makes of draft rigging and couplers, which make which a carman is required to repair and apply, is shown below. Figure nine shows the um, Farlow 3K draft gear. Um, your draft rigging rigging starts as a Butler Graham or Butler Graham Thornburg Hernessy Hernessy Friction and Bradford. Your Thornbury tandem minor tandem um, minor minor friction minor friction William Pears Farlow Farlow Westinghouse Cardwell Worry Murray Sessions and Republic. Figure 10 shows Republic Friction um, draft gear. The couplers D, D type AAR, um, fourth style, Sharon, SAS, SH and H, Tower, Janae, Climax, JNA X, Major, JNA Miller, Melrose, RE, Janney, Latribu, Gold, three type, Gold, Gold, three types, Lion, Hind, Pitt, Kelso, Simplex, Washburn, Trojan. All right, there, there, there are there are a great many variety of the roofs used in the boxcar. The carman must be familiar with the method of applying all uh, all of them. On one of the roofs, the single board with the roof, which consists of the single board nailed to the pur lines and the side of the plates, or half of the width of the car. There is a double boarded roof with a double boarded pl plastic roof with, with the roof is the same as the single board roof the, with the exception of the car man must apply with a layer of plastic paper on the top of the single board with the roof and again with the cover the entire board of the roof then the number of the um, inside of the metal roof which the roof have the metal sheets on about 32 to, 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 a car, to the car which is applied with directly above the pure lines each seat. Each sheet is a coated with a car and tar like solution over the which is applied with a layer of, layer of the plastic paper on the top of which is nailed in a single layer of board roof. All right, there are a number of outside metal roofs which consist of the single board roof nailed in, on the pore lines of the coat over the tar. Simon, um, similar solutions of one layer of plastic paper on the top of the metal with the roof sheets. These roofs are usually flexible and held to the cars. Um, figures for the 11 shows applying the roof pore lines. By clamps and, clamps and side plate nails with the rigid pole, the nails, however, they do not go through the roof sheets, but they are through the caps of the fit over the joint between any of the two roof sheets. The rigid pole with the cap and the metal with extending with the entire length of the car. Like the caps on the roof sheets, it is an interlocking which allows the movement with the car when the car is under stress and is turning with a sharp curve. The extent to which any of these roofs perform the functions um, for which they are applied, the rest is entirely on the mechan mechanical ability of the care used by the carman in applying them. Picture figure 12 shows the flexible metal roof. Um, 
Knowledge of car parts. The carman must know the standard and always use a special size of all these parts. How the, he must he knows that he for the um that they fit together in what order but they must be able to, must be built upon and taken part of the repair. And knowledge of this in order is essential for the carman's work. With the importance note, that it's only um for the strength and the life of the car, but it's also in order to may, that they may be built and repaired with the safety of the men working for it. For instance, as part as are taken in the wrong order of the men, if it means that the roof or there is some of the heavy timbers will fall on jury, killing some of the men working on the around the car the mechanics dismantling the car must try to take proper precautions provided with adequate support for all parts of the danger of falling while they are repairing the car the most of the lumber required for the um, for cars repairs is received by the carmen already milled these and cut in, into standard shapes and sizes but on arrival of these parts of the car the, the mechanic mechanic must complete the shaping and finishing of, the, of them in order to through the individual requirements of the job he has to perform in some of the repair points in which there is no mill the carman finds it's necessary to mill and frame all the of his own lumber by hand. A sample job of the, this kind would be much um, cutting the ten, tenons on the post ends of the mortises and the sills into which these tenons must fit. All right, this shows your tenon and extension and the grain and sill. Figure, figure thirteen: post tension, extension, sill gain, sill gain, and mortise. At nearly the small repair points, there there are no mill. The facilities the carman must frame with all the material from the rough and the young, usually oversized lumber, and sometimes he must comply. 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 He is compelled to carry his material as far as the half a mile. The draft rigging of the car is a mechanism most of the frequent need for the repair and most important for the running of the train. The defect of these parts would probably be caused by the train part and while in service to cause the delay of the shipment. The drafting rigging consists of the coupler which is held in place between the two draft jimbers and by a sing system of springs and yoke and followers which are held with the draft casting. An attached plate with the American Standard Boxcar, see page 31, figure 97, um... Nine, number 79 shows the coupler pocket with the number 890 and 81 shows the spring with the following plate the number 82 fitted in the yoke of the front of the behind of the spring these following flowers fit in which is called here in the coupler stop number 77 this coupler attachment including the yoke and spring of the followers weighed approximately 350 pounds required the two men and a jack to put into the position to be fastened the carman has the uh Responsibility seeing the bolts of the drafting casting coupler to stop the fastening securely and are securely depend um, depends on whether or not the coupler will put pull the fastening one in the service of the application of the coupler. All these bolts are not visible with the car inspector foreman for these proper. The application depends entirely on the integrity of the car man. The number fifty nine plate shown is known as the car the the body truss rod. There is usually eight of the, these rods to a car that uh, come in half sections that um, held together with the, in the center with the truss rod. The turn buckle is shown with the plate the number ninety. The carman usually bends the truss rods for application each of the half section, but the rod is bent with the two different angles of the suit. The requirement of the car to be which is to be applied if it is not bent with the proper angle the under the stress and the strain of the load, the truss rod will work loose. As the turn of the buckle into the center of the works in one direction, it can be seen with the th um, that the threads on the end of the truss rod, which was turned buckle fits, are opposite and uh, are opposite. That is one of the right hand thread and the other left handed. Uh, if the carman makes a mistake applying with the truss rod, he will probably find that the end of the, at the end of the sill he was applying to the truss rod nut that he has, has left-handed thread to apply the, that the nut to whereas there are no nuts with the left-handed thread left-handed thread Number 100 and number 103 show the brake cylinder and reservoir of this car. But these apply with the car man. He must know the torch with his engine for the car. The piston rod must travel. Figures numbers 218 and 224 show the side sill step and then the grab irons. The safety appliance of the must be applied with the conform to the interstate commerce rules. The car man must be acquainted with the standard method of applying these grab iron sill steps in order to protect the railroad from liability of law, fine violating law, permitting of the safety appliances, and he must also apply with them in such a way that they will not have be in a menace to the lives of the trainmen or others who may have the occasion to use them. The safety appliances regulations will be more fully explained later. Alright, applying the slide door. The number 190 um, shows the side door track from which the side door of the boxcar is suspended. The truck must be applied with the board pour, pour properly in order for that door to mo mo uh, make a free um, fit securely to the car, but the mechanically almost to the see the side door rollers. Number 192 operate and easily along the door track in order that the door may be open and closed. The side core door is not fastened at the proper height of the, on the side of the car, but it will probably strike against the side door guide. Number 196. 
some of the rest thereon, which would be make the door almost impossible to open and close as the case may be for the forcing of the out will open of the doors that are improperly applied it has much to do with the short life of the box cars and inside door also the damage of the shipments caught with the door not giving the proper protection there are a great many of the different type of the cars doors and appliances safety appliances the safety appliances rule of the Interstate Commerce Commission um, prescribable standard location is mentioned with the manner of applying with all the car parts having the influence of the safety of the employee of the travelers upon the railroad. The structural differences and differential type of the car making made it necessary to provide the different regulations governing the different type of therefore. Carmen must be familiarized himself with the safety appliances rules and give them the box car, tanker cars, hopper cars, gondola cars. Etc. The space does not permit the explain of the safety appliance with all class of the car, but outline of the regulation given by the boxcar was given an idea of the knowledge of the rules of the carman must have. We will assume that the railroad supervisor force with the mother look after the responsible for the material dimensions of the safety appliances. It can be readily be granted also that the carman must take the care of the of and responsibility of their location on the car and manner of the application of handbrake rigging. On the box car, the handbrake rigging shaft must be located on the on the um, on the car end, but not less than the 17 inch, inches, no more than 20 and 2 inches from the center of the car. There must be not less than four the four inches of the clearance around the rim of the of the brake wheel. The outside edge of the brake wheel must be not less than four inches near the car of the other than the inside face of the knuckle. When the closing the coupler horn against the buffler plate of the brake of the shaft is supported, but it must be secured with the bolts and ribs less than one half of the inch of the diameter of the brake shaft. The ratchet must be fixed so that cannot move on the shaft the brake pulp of the pivot must be built and the rivet of the least um, five eighths of an inch in diameter than that at the top of the brake shaft which holds the hold down the brake wheel must be further secured by the knot locker and the cutter key on the shaft and must be riveted over it um, the brake step must be not less than 28 inches in long, long, um, long, you know, and the outside edge is not less than 8 inches from the face of the car. Like the brake wheel, the outer edge of the correct step must be at least 4 inches near the car than in the inside of the face. Of the coupler knuckle when closed with the coupler back against the buffer, the brake, brake step must have the two metal supports and secured by the no lighter, no lighter than a half inch um, bolt or rivets. Your running boards. Running boards on the most fastened with the saddles with the bolt by bolts of the screws. The running boards my end, but they must not be less than six inches, no more than ten inches of the vertical plane and parallel to the end of the car passing through the inside of the face of the coupler knuckle within the close of the coupler horn against the buffer. If the running board extends more than the four inches from the edge of the car roof, the it must have the bracket support the extension. One of the cars having the outside of the metal roof. Running boards must have extensions to the side of the car open the side ladders, roof handle the whole roof hand holders. Over each of the ladder location one of the the roof hand holder with the grab iron must be applied with not less than 8 or no more than 15 inches from the edge of the roof. The side end handle hold. Each of the car must have the 14 horizon four horizontal side hand holds. These must be not more than 8 inches in from the end of the end of the, each of the side of the car. Four more horizontal hand holds required on each of the car, but they must be not more than 8 inches of the, from the side of the car. The horizontal hand holds must not be less than 16th and no more than 24 inches in the length of the cars having the outside end sill must have the 24th inch in hand Hold across the center of the, um, the center of the end of the car with not less than 30, um, no more than 60 inches above the sill. On the end of the sill, near each of the side of the bolt ends of the car, there must be one hold hand hold located no more than 16 inches from the one, from the side of the car. On the cars having the opposite outside end sills, one of the vertical hand holds described on each of the end of the opposite of the ladder, no more than eight of an inch of the from the side of the car, not less than the 18 inch of the length. Handles with extension of end sills, handholds, and letter threads must not be less than 24 inches and not no more than 30 inches and above the center line of the coupler. All handholds must be, have at least 2 inches of clearance. All right. Um, side end, side end ladders. The sh there shall be no, um, one ladder on each of the car, not more than eight inches from the right of the end of the car. One of the each end of the, not more than the eight inches from the left side of the car. The maximum space between the ladder thre treads and the nineteen of nineteen inches. The spacing of the ladder treads should be uniformly the top of the ladder tread must be not less than twelve inches, not more than eight inches from the, from the roof of the eaves. Side end, in side and end ladder treads must be coincided with the variation of two inches uncoupling level. Levers, levers. Each car must have the one coupling lever on the left of the um, left side of each of the end of the car. The lever handle must be uh, not more than 12 inches from the side of the car. End of the handles must be extended less than four inches from below the bottom of the end sill and constructed so that at least two inches of the clearance is allowed around the handle and drop the hand of the handle must be at least 12 and not over 15 inches overall. The coupler height.
On a scanner gauge track of the height of the rail to the center line, but the coupler must not be less than 31 and a half inches and no more than 34 and a half inches. Your sill steps. One of the sill steps is required from near each of the end of the um, side of the, of the car, not more than 18 inches from the end of the car. Of the sill steps, all, all handholds shall be fastened not lo less than one of the half inch rivets to one of the half inch bolts riveted. Every railroad has found the necessary to have the blueprints be made, showing the location method of applying the safety appliances to its own car. One of the some of the classes of the car was railroads found it difficult to devise standards to conform with the requirements of the law. The requirement repairing of the car does not require receive specific uh, specific direction from the foreman. As to the location of these appliances is part of the trade to know that these things, the foreman and inspection of the car would be ready for the service and the must give the particular attention to the safety appliances, but generally has not the time to look over the every deal, detail on every car. All right, working conditions of hazards. The car manager requires to perform this work with the daylight or in the shop while the lights are suspended so far uh, overhead that they do not light up the interior. They, they do not light up the interior of the car, nor do they shed any light underneath it. The winter months before the is completes his work is practically twilight on the outside. The working outside of the car manager requires the work in the snow and the rain and mud and slush caused by these conditions. The material in which the, he works also becomes wet or covered with mud, with mud flying from on the ground. Working inside while shielded with the front four wheels force for the wind for the shield with the rain. From the rain, the advantages sometimes offset with the droughts that run through with the shop. Whenever the outside of the in the shop ground is floor and very dusty, the condition is made worse because every car that can be repaired is the landing with the dust, and generally with the remains of some material of the car that has been carried in and transit. Some of these could be in coal, lime, sulfur, and cemented grain. His drinking water is most of the shop is quite near him, but in the small outside points, he must walk greater distances for water and do what do with it. Wow. In small repair points, there are no toilets. Which are amplified, providing um, provided within the larger shops. Crowded repair tracks. At the time when the railroad shops are exceptionally busy, the repair tracks are crowded with the car of the more lead than they are normally capacity. The means of the after the track is jacked up, the trucks push uh, to either end of the car. The carman is in the working on the end of the car that requires to climb over and around the truck. He also has to lift his cu his coupler and end sills and heavy parts for the kind. Um, over the trucks, which are constantly in the way of doing this work. The carman is working considerable dangers of the series of accidents due to the falling of the car off the, of the horses and falling the ends of the sills, couplers, and other heavy parts. Also, there is a danger of being struck by flying particles of metal, etc. The carman is required to make a light uh, repairs to interchange points. In most shops, there are, main, main, there are many signs to take repair of the cars on the tracks, which are a great deal. The switchman has done his liable for serious injury because of the cars being moved while he is um, working around and under them. All right, importance of blue flag. The car is supplied with the blue flag, which is required to place the, uh, at the end of the e, uh, end of any of the string of the cars, which is working on the most cases of the flag is to have the plain wooden staff, which is put on the behind the end of the handhold, and is helped to place with the wooden edge, um, wooden wedge. The switching of the crew neglects to see if the flag moves on the car, but the carman is generally seriously injured. One of the cases, um, one case of an incident due to the failure of the switching crew to see there's a blue flag due to the bla um, blue flag having the fallen from the end of the, the car, the result of the killing of the two carmen. These two Men um, were experienced with car men. We were repairing cars they, uh, that were liable to remove move the very best of the, uh, our knowledge. The considerably long experience with these two men in the work, we will suppose that they have placed their blue flag on the end of the car on which they were working. The switching of the crew, however, to move them on the cars, with the result of one man was run over and trying to pull it out and pull him from um, pull him from danger. His partner was badly maimed. One hour later, died, and the blue flag, which was intended to remain on the end of the car, was found on the ground some 25 feet from the scene of the accident. Another similar case, the carman connected up the air hose when the car was removed and hand, hand, his, had his leg amputated between the ankle and the knee. A freight repair shop is littered with the material and metal parts, which may be and make difficult to securely place the horses from the support of the scaffold plank. With the scaffold plank must be placed so there will be no danger in falling. Um, the carman must use the care of laying tools in the, um, on the scaffold so that they will be not fall down and cause injury to some of the one working below it. 
Injuries to eyes. Most of the work with the bottom of the car requires the mechanic to look up the upward and frequently occurs with a small picture particle of the rust, dirt, and coal falling and lodged in his eyes. Some of the railroads are arranged with the monthly report of the personal injuries, which usually show that some of the 35 and 30 percent of them are injuries to the eyes. Most of these occur with the freight carmen. Aside with every present possibility, serious injuries, um, serious accidents, and ills, ailments to get his eloquent re results with the working condition is described here in the carmen often develops a serious hernia from the weight of the work done in an awkward position. The workman, when a, when a carman is injured with the performance of the duty, is sometimes a month after his return to work before he is able to collect the compensation that he's, the law provides for him. During the time he is out of work, he must get along with the be as best as he can without assistance from the, his employers. Personal qualifications responsibility. The carman foreman generally has a considerable force of the supervisor for the considerable mark number of marked cars to prepare under the supervision. He generally marks out the parts of the freight car with which require the renewal of the method of performing the work left entirely on the, to the carman. Probably he had made on, only time that he receives the specific directions and if after he has made an error in the judge eh, has received the censor for the censor it. Eh. Nearly every matter um, pertaining to the repairs of the car with the safety of the best method of making them with the car man generally use the uh, his own discretion of the judgment. When the car is compli completed with the foreman makes the written record of the repairs having been made with the inspection of the workmanship and uh, most of the repairs most of the parts are visible with the proper repairs or um, repairing of the parts but that he cannot see the left of the honestly with the car man. Drawing a record, the mechanic must be able to make of the, uh, his own daily time slip. Also, makes simple sketches, um, simple sketches written of the dimension. That he must be able to read the ordinary blueprints. Mechanical must be also with count of the end order, the number of the bolts for the various the size of the required. The some of the repair points that are required to, to keep the notebook record of the material that he uses for repairing the car, with especially a record of the number of the castings he applies. In the keeping of the record of the casting, he must show the pattern of the number of every piece and the need of the muscular strength. As a freight car building, repairing the properly for the heaviest kind of the the work of the mechanics are required to perform without the aid of the machinery. It will be understood that the carman must possess a great deal of muscle, muscular strength. He would require a steady muscular effort during his entire work day as he continually handling the heavy uh, metal with wooden parts for the car. The majority of the freight cars that are repaired where there are no, uh, no appliances except for ordinary jacks provided with lift these uh, parts. All of these cars are any one of the repair track are generally expected to be completed with the ready of the service for the same day while working with the high speed accomplish this and the carman must concentrate all of his thinking for the faculties on to his work and to avoid making mistakes that would be um, delay the completion of the car. The carman must have the um, endurance to perform his work with the day to day with the possess of the health and constitution to stand with the rigors of the work weather and while working with the outside and generally a great many of the carmen suffer the real stadium real stadium current contracted while working with the wet and snow. All right, difficulties in using edges tools. Mechanicals doing some of the class, um, mechanics doing some of the classes working with their edge tools on the materials they have that um, held in the vice and laid out on the benches, but the carman must be cut off the scarf. Scarfs and gain and fit with the mortises and tensions while stopping the under the car with the place while the motion requires to perform the work and the hamper with the proximity of the parts and the car. The many of the carmen are able to use the wood and chisels accurately with either right or the left hand. Versatility of the car man. The car mechanic must be extremely versatile because of the great variety of the cars upon which he is required to work. The evolution of the wooden seals, construction of the equipment, requires the carman to be able to change the wood to steel and carve on the same day to carry out the seal work in the same efficient manner that the performs the work on the craft. On the wooden cars, the repair of the seal equipment is described in section C. Section B. Working on wood fre wooden freight cars.